only really needs phosphorus when it's first establishing itself. And once your grass has taken root, once it's already seeded, it doesn't need any more phosphorus. Most Indiana lawns actually have excessive levels of phosphorus. Purdue did a study that showed 87% of Tippecanoe County lawns had adequate or high levels of phosphorus, which means if every single person in Tippecanoe County used a phosphorus lawn fertilizer, then 87% of them were wasting money. Most of the time, the excess phosphorus is going to either go into your sewer system if you live in a city, um, or it's going to wash straight off into the waterways, which means you now have a situation where your water body is loaded with excess phosphorus. And the most common result of that overloading is an algae bloom. If you are going to any uh, gardening store, any department store, then you should find phosphorus-free fertilizers right next to the regular fertilizers, and the cost should be very comparable. Indiana actually has a very good history of phosphorus bans. We were one of the first states to ban phosphorus in laundry detergents. We did that to protect our water quality. Indiana is relatively famous for our lakes, uh, not only Lake Michigan, but also lakes in Steuben County, in Kosciuszko County, and right here in the Indianapolis area. When we're looking at water quality, it's worth it to take an extra step in protecting the water quality. As far as the consumer goes, it's not going to have a major impact. It just means that people who sell fertilizers are going to need to provide phosphorus-free lawn fertilizers first. Representative Dodge has authored a bill that would restrict the use of phosphorus in lawn fertilizers. It would make certain that if you are fertilizing, you're using the phosphorus responsibly. You would only be using it on a new lawn, not an established lawn, and you wouldn't be able to use it in the spring. Unfortunately, that bill was not heard in the House. So the Hoosier Environmental Council is working to make sure that it is amended and added into different phosphorus legislation and fertilizer legislation. As always, contact your legislator first and foremost. Uh, if you live in a community where you know there's an active watershed group or a lakes association, then contact them as well. Contact Senator Beverly Gard, Representative Brian Bosma and Representative Dave Wilkins and tell them that you want this bill for Indiana and for Indiana's lakes. Well, thank you very much for your interest. This is Fallon French of the Hoosier Environmental Council. If you have any further questions or want to take a more active role in our campaigns, please feel free to contact me at ffrench at hecweb.org. Thank you.